Hi, I'm Debbie Hicks, and today I am going to demonstrate how to make sour cream biscuits. It's one of my family's favorite recipes, and I wish I could say it was mine, but it's not. It's a holiday recipe, and it requires only three ingredients. Two cups of self rising flour, one cup of sour cream, and one cup of butter. And I already have everything pre-measured, so I'm going to add the self rising flour. And I already have the chilled, very chilled butter cubed. And that's the key to this recipe. You want this butter to be as chilled as you can get it, but not frozen, because it needs to be workable. And just get your hands in it. That's the best part about this. And if you have kids, get them involved, because it gets to get messy. And that's fun. You want to be careful to not overwork this butter, because you still want it to be in chunks. That's what makes the biscuits so good and buttery. I'm just going to keep this a good one. Now, if you don't have self-rising flour in your cover, don't let that stop you from trying this recipe. You can uh, make your own self-rising flour by having two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to keep on working with this. My daughter, she likes to work on this because she likes the feel of squishy stuff. And this recipe is very versatile. You can put it on freezer paper. I have some freezer paper right here, and I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. You can make it in little bitty muffin tins. You can even roll this recipe out and use a cookie cutter make the, the, the biscuits. So we're almost there. One thing I like to do whenever I fix this, prepare this recipe, is I, I do like to freeze it because there are many mornings when I'm getting ready for work and I just want something quick and I will just get one of the biscuits out of the freezer pop it in the toaster oven at 400 degrees and cook it until it's golden brown. I got me a homemade fresh biscuit. All right. So our butter is mixed in gently with the flour. Now I'm going to add our sour cream. And the you can see some liquid on the sour cream, and that's that's the whey. That's good stuff. A lot of people mistakenly pour that off. That's really good for you. Get all of that out of there. You can't leave anything to waste. I'm also gonna get my fingers in there. <coughs> This recipe, I'll say it was versatile. You can, I cooked this in a Dutch oven, and that has that was quite an experience. It's it's a different type of recipe to to, to use within the Dutch oven, and you can tell I like to get my hands messy as well. <laughs> this is just. too much sour cream in it, then you can just a tad bit more flour. All right. This is good and mixed up. Stick it to me, lots of fun. This can be quite something. But here we go. And you can make these biscuits as large or as small as you wish. You just drop, you can form them. This is my, this is 
this is the type of wax paper that I use. It's already pre-cut. Enjoy this recipe.